Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Naughty here, and uh, I am here with Naughty's Gamer Tag with uh, another tutorial, or actually my first tutorial. You guys may or may not uh, recognize me from the Naughty Gamer, and I'll explain that as we go. But um, basically, if you guys want to know what happened, uh, my account essentially got... I don't know if it got hacked, stolen, or whatever, but I cannot get into it, and when I go to get into my password and say I forgot my password um, it says that the account does not exist so this is gonna be my brand new channel and um, if my naughty gamer fans have come across this due to um, stumbling across this video somehow can you guys just go ahead and subscribe if you uh, like this kind of stuff but anyways let's go ahead and um, get started this is a cinema 4d 64 bit um, I'm actually running the 32-bit version right now, but I could be running 64, but for right now I'm running 32. Anyways, we're going to show you guys how to do a simple sphere and make it rotate. So, basically, you, we just go ahead and uh, make a new, get a new um, thing here. So, let's just go ahead and close that. And then what we do is make new and go to Q or this little button right here, <coughs> as you guys can see. Click on sphere and you're going to get a basic sphere there's you know nothing too crazy about it right so there is our sphere I want to click on this button here which is the rotate button and we're gonna make it rotate like so around and around and around and around and around <coughs> it's fairly simple but before we do that why don't we go ahead and make it look like something hmm why don't we make it look like um let's see here we can make it look like a fireball we could we could do that let's uh... let's go ahead and pick up our graphics pack we're going to grab some fire i'm going to make it into a fireball hopefully so here we go and basically what i'm doing here i don't know if you guys can see this or not i'm just going to grab basically this so grab any image that you want, <clears throat> for example we're using fireball, and you basically simply just drag it and drag it onto that item. Now does it, so this image is not the document search path, do you want to create a copy of the document location? You just click yes. And now we basically have this fireball, as you can clearly see. So if we click on the render button, we'll see that we have a fireball, right? So let's make it a little bit bigger. To make it a little bit bigger, you just click on this button here, not that one. And you just pull this up. And maybe we want to turn it or make it go back just a little bit so it's not... Actually, you know what? We're going to make it really, really big. And now we've got ourselves a fireball. It's going to spin, hopefully. Hopefully we can get it to spin. There we go. And we click on Render just to see what it looks like. And there we go. We now have ourselves a little fireball. <coughs> so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to do some keyframing. And that's fairly easily done. But before we do that, why don't we go ahead and, and make it a little bit brighter. Take it to 150. Oh. So basically what you do is, these. this is the little uh, material ball that you click. You double click it. It'll bring up this. Go into illumination or sorry, go into um, color, increase the uh, brightness by 500. We are also going to add um, a illumination and we're also, <coughs> we're also going to, uh, actually no, not illumination, uh, we want to go reflection. There we go. And we click on reflection and we're going to make that 150. Just see what that looks like. There we go. So we click on render and now we have this little ball behind it and the reason why we have that is you'll see in a second we're gonna go copy press C and then V and we're going to make this one here we make it a little bit bigger and this one is behind I believe so we want to bring that up so it's going to look kind of something like that. And now we go render just to see what it looks like. 
And of course, we want to delete that. Grab our file again and bring it and put it right here. Yes. Click on render. And we now have just a little bit different of a, <coughs> a texture to it. But if you don't want that and you just want something simple, then we delete that, no problem. Okay, so here we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe this. So basically to start keyframing, you want to start it off wherever you want. So start ours there. Press the little keyframe button. Then you go up to number 10, let's say. You turn it. Keyframe. Turn it. Keyframe. Turn it. Keyframe. And you basically do this until you have as many keyframes as you want. There we go. And we'll just make one complete circle here. Keyframe. Now, <coughs> if, for example, you wanted to go this way, you could do it that way as well. Okay. You can do it any way you want, really. Okay, so we'll just go back the way it was. If you grab here, oops, you can go this way or all over the place or make it just do all crazy stuff. So you can just make it go all over the place. Okay, and we'll go back. So let's hit back and we'll hit play. And we now have a spinning, rotating fireball. Anyways, guys, that has been the tutorial. Hope you guys like it. If you guys dislike this video, make sure you put in the comments below letting me know why you dislike this video. It really does help me out. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I will be doing a lot more tutorials, a lot more giveaways. Um, and I will also be doing some uh, HD gaming. And I'll also be doing some game reviews on this channel as well. Just a little bit similar to what I was having on uh, the Naughty Gamer channel. And uh, next you're going to see an example of what I did. And if you guys want that, um, that template, then uh, make sure you either do one of the following. Just look in the description below for all your details. Anyways guys, until next time, this has been Naughty for Naughty Gamer Tags. Anyways guys, peace. I will move fast, I will move slow, take me away.